It has been six years since the last ATAT -AT set and God have we got a really beautiful new set coming up. Look at the beauty of this beast. Wonderful compared to the very first one that was ever released in 2003 and you can tell how far this has come. Wow, the box art just beautiful. The real AT&T's in the back there comes with six minifigs. The body looks large. The neck piece with the ring seems to be new. I like that. And it seems to have the biggest ever compartment to store troops. We have five seats there in the back. The door hinges seem much more solid on this build as well. And if we have a look on the other side, there is a mounted turret that just has a really beautiful detail as well. Definitely the roomiest body we have had in the, I think it's four total of the very big AT&Ts that have been released. Talking about roomy, maybe not so much in the head, although this is the first time we can fit three figs right up in there, although I just don't think this is comfortable. It seems like the roominess continues because you can fit an entire speeder bike all the way in the back, which is just amazing. Basically, the whole set can be fit all the way inside of the AT-80. -AT. Apart from all the shooters, the, the additional play feature here is that you can actually pull Luke all the way up into the body with an additional hatch that can be opened up top there with the Technic piece to do so. As for the fakes, we will be getting two AT-AT pilots. I wish they would be different and two snowtroopers. Again, I wish they would be different, but we will get our fourth ever General Veers and we got Luke up there with a little detonator. All in all, a really cool, beautiful set. I am excited for this one, definitely. And I hope you are as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.